Very impressed indeed. In fact, it echoes what we're going to get into now. And I think, you know, we often discuss this on the show that, you know, in this current century that we live in, we are really taught, we are pushed to, to want bigger and better things, to want a bigger house, a better car, and that money is the pinnacle of existence. Well, one man is living, well, the antithesis of this. He believes that there is another way, and he has chosen to pull himself out of what we would call normal society, and I stress that what we would call normal society. I'm talking about anthropologist, filmmaker, and writer, Paul Myberg. Paul, welcome to the show. Now, you've done something truly incredible by by stepping out of what we would consider normal society to live with Bushmen in the Kalahari. Just, if you can take us back a few steps, where did this journey begin for you? What, what prompted you to, to take this massive change in direction in, in your life? Well, it was never a change. I mean, I, I just, from, from a long, long time ago, when I was small, my, my inclination was to follow my soul, and my soul led me to that, you know, how it is in life, you do what you are. I think there is this, this misconception that, that Bushmen are unevolved because they choose to live in the manner that they do. But we have seen a deep spirituality, an understanding, an intuitive understanding of the world, of the cosmos, that, that seems to outstretch a lot of what we would consider to be modern thought. What was it about the Bushman culture that, that drew you into to that, that life? I think in most respects it was to find in me what was just residual memory, what had been lost, forgotten, and to re-enliven it and bring it back into this world and work it into this world where it, where it must um, be brought to bear again. What have you learned? What, what are the major lessons? I'm sure every day presented a, a, a new life lesson, but what are some of the thoughts, the lessons that have stayed with you that you are now trying to put out? Not trying to put out anything, just, just by the manner of my being, the world that I influence is is there, but, um, and nothing special, it's just really, you know, the disconnect of modern human beings from the spiritual world and the, and the connect that these people have. And to live out of that connect in this world is, is utterly possible. It's not something that has to be separate. How do we achieve that? In this, I mean, I mean, you've just felt the energy in the studio alone of how crazy and frenetic our world is here. How do you apply this in this kind of situation without pulling yourself out? I think it's about layers and also realizing that it's not a separate world. It's, it's just behind these eyes. It's just behind this moment. There is a sincerity that is possible. We don't have to be involved utterly in the frivolity and the insincerity, but we can just look behind it and see that there is a real humanity. Uh, I love the title, The Bushman Winter Has Come. It is very evocative. Talk to us about the book. I understand almost 27 years in, in the making. What do we get out of this experience? What has gone into this from, from your perspective? In many respects, it was a task which was revealed later. It was, it was to bring this dreaming consciousness forward into this wide awake human consciousness. This, this fallen, separated human being has, has, in many respects, forgotten where we came from and lost contact with our divine beginnings. That's reflected in these people. And it was to bring that forward. And the book took 28 years to write out of a Bushman vernacular so that it can express that accurately and, and re-enliven that residual memory in you. Because you were once that. We, we've all stemmed from that. How, how difficult or, or challenging has it been coming back into um, this crazy world of ours, pulling yourself out of what, what must have been become a, a paradise for you? At first difficult, at first almost impossible, because yeah. I was coming from a fundamental existence into an incidental one. And having to sort that took quite a long time. But now it's not a problem at all. I see that in all of this all the time. So there's no, there's, no, there's no two realities here. It's one merged reality. I, I can certainly get that. I think one thing that we, we really connect with on a base level is authenticity. And um, because our, our lives and the show moves at such a fast pace, we've got to cut through the clutter. We've got to make that, that deeper connection. So it, it's wonderful to see this kind of message being put out there in this kind of very authentic way. Um, where can we get hold of your story? How can we connect with you? How can we connect with the Bushman culture? The book, the book can be bought at most exclusive books. You can go onto my blog site, bushmanwinter.com, 
and get all the information in terms of the book, in terms of access to me, in terms of all of it, yeah. Oh, well, keep fighting the good fight. So thank you so much for, for bringing your experiences to us. That It really is an amazing piece of, of, of literature, but I think the, the story behind it is something that, that really does, um, it needs to be put out there today. So thank you so much. Thank you, Ross. Well, as we focus on Sustainability Week in South Africa this week, there are lessons to be learned from those far removed from our own existence, and they don't have to be, and those lessons don't have to be. You can get out there and experience the world around you. Um, and we've given you tools to do that. Collect on everyday things as you travel to places that ignite your imagination, that connect you spiritually again. You can put your avios um, towards unbelievable um, flight bonuses one way by filling up with BP. You can collect one avios for every two liters of fuel. Um, if you've picked up a card in a service station, you'll need to activate that card, though. Do be aware of that. But there are so many tools that you can use in everyday life to create a bigger platform for you to experience this incredible world around us. Well, it's about to get a whole lot more colorful and vivid, Ewan.